What's up everyone, this is my next assembly language tutorial. Uh, it's been a while since I made some real cool assembly language tutorial. So uh, I'm gonna sit back and make all the remaining ones for y'all right now. So let's get started. This is uh, the assembly program to display hello on, on the console using TASM. Uh, if you all saw my last tutorial, uh, I explained how to install and configure TASM on your machine. So in this program, we're just gonna jump into the code uh, that we need to write in order to, in order to run uh, this program using TASM. So the basic difference when you're writing a code in, in debug.exe and when you're writing one in TASM is that TASM is sort of like an IDE and debug is sort of uh, the raw assembler uh, that you'll find. So the difference basically lies in the fact that uh, when you're using an IDE, there are a separate set of directive, uh, directives which, are, which need to be present uh, for the program to be working on that IDE. Uh, to really put things in perspective here, uh, if you all have written some code in uh, Turbo C, uh, which is which is uh, Borland's Turbo C compiler, and you've written the same C code in uh, Code Blocks, which is an IDE, you all will will notice that there are a few directives which are specific to Code Blocks, which Turbo C doesn't really care about and Turbo C doesn't really need, but they need to be written in code blocks for the code to work. So uh, this is some standard stuff, some things that, that will be present in, in all of our TASM programs. So let's get started. The first one is dot .model. And what dot .model means is uh, that it specifies the memory model that is going to be used by your program. And in our case, uh, it's always going to be small. Yeah, let's not go into details about this. It's, this is always going to be small. We're going to be working with a small memory model. So I'm going to go ahead and make that small. The next directive is is dot .stack. And uh, look at the value I'm going to give this, 100H. Now, if you all remember the previous program where I uh, printed hello on the console using debug.exe, uh, you all might have noticed that the starting address whenever I entered the assembler uh, was always 100 edge and and I told you all that no matter what machine you're going to be running it's always going to be 100 edge so uh, when you're writing this code in, in an um, assembler which is like TASM or MASM um, we got to tell that assembler that okay we want our code to be put into the stack from 100 edge because that is the start the default start of machine code so we're going to be starting our code from 100 edge. So these lines of code are ultimately going to be stacked up starting from 100 edge. So uh, again, you can you can uh, change this value to whatever you want. We stick to the defaults. I'll, I'll, I would recommend you all to stick to the defaults, but this value can be changed. Uh, next, we have dot data. And um, unlike uh, other languages where uh, data and code is usually mixed up. Assembly uh, is not that flexible. So it defines separate sections for your data and for your code. So dot data is the section which will be having all of your variables and, and you know stuff which you will be storing in the memory. So basically all of your data is going to go into the dot data segment. So for now let's just keep that empty and go to the next section which is dot code. As the name specifies dot code will have all the code or the logic of your program all right uh, now funny thing with with tasm is that uh, when you write your code in the dot code uh, section uh, you usually get an error while compiling your code uh, the error says that it cannot find the start uh, you know the starting point of the code or something i don't remember the error but something like that uh, and that error usually usually uh, has got to do with labels. Uh, when you cannot find the start of code, it, it basically refers uh, to the fact that the compiler is not able to find a label from where it starts. So whenever we write our code, we would be defining a label and all of our code will go inside the label. Uh, this is kind of stupid, but I have to do it because I get an error. So uh, the the label that I'm going to be defining is start and whenever I got to end my code obviously the start will be followed by a semi oh no a colon and I'll write my code here and whenever my code is like I'm done coding I'll just end my code with an end mnemonic and that end will be followed by the name of the label so just start all right 
So this is is sort of the the default layout when you start writing your uh, your TASM code, and this is going to be used in um, all of the programs that we're going to be writing. So this is something you got to remember. Uh, dot model, dot stack, dot data a place for all of your variables. Dot code where you write your code, but since the code cannot be identif identified by the compiler, we usually uh, enclose it in a label and an end label. Uh, so I think I'm, I'm just going to stop in this video. Um, I'll go on to writing and printing hello in the next video. I want to keep these videos small so that you all uh, don't get too bored watching them. So thank you all for watching this tutorial. Um, I'm going to be back with the next one in no time. See ya.